Hey everybody, Jason McMillan here with Keep Calm Training Your Rookie. I'm fortunate today because I have a real rookie with me. Notice Firefighter Bled Fletcher, he's a probationary firefighter and on my fire department, pros wear a khaki uniform, or we call them browns. We have a concept of indoctrination and orientation in the fire service culture that's right in line with our training program through our academy, and we make them earn their blues. That's a whole other show. Right now, we're going to talk about pose rolls. Come on up, Danny. We have two different pose rolls of two and a half. The first one is the standard straight roll. We have the male on the inside. We have the female out. We also have a donut roll. We have the, both the male and the female on the outside. I'm going to give my personal opinion on this. And if you look at the history of the fire service, you start digging pretty deep. A straight roll is not for a hose that's supposed to be on the rig. It's for hose that's being stored back at the firehouse. Uh, I get into some debate about this with a lot of folks. A lot of folks like the straight roll because it's easy to roll, but the problem with it is it's difficult to deploy and it has a lot of disadvantages to it. So right now, probationary firefighter Bletcher, he's going to go ahead and deploy the straight roll. I have my cameraman move over here to our other position. You're going to notice here what we've got set up. We have a confined area. It doesn't have to be the building and the rig. It could be shrubbery, cars, any kind of obstruction. So Blush is going to step up about three more feet, and he's going to try to throw this two and a half straight roll. We'll see how it goes. This is very typical, folks. It doesn't ever roll straight. It rolls off at an angle. It goes underneath the rig. Let's talk about something, too. If he rolled this thing perfectly and this hose ran out a full 50 feet, that male coupling is going to snap around and slap itself on the ground, possibly damaging those fittings. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to show you a quick and easy method of how you roll that donut roll and how you get the spacing laid out in order you get that male and female coupling lined up uh, and available for you to use. So we're going to use a reference object. Let's go over here to Firefighter Bletcher. He's going to take an axe and he's going to lay it here at the end of the hose. Right here, this length right here, is where I want to start with my male coupling. Let's go ahead and use that male coupling. We'll get the axe out of the way here in just a second. He's just going to grab this nail. He's going to walk it straight back over the hose. The hose is on my mark. As he walks back to that midpoint of the hose, he's just going to dress the two layers of hose in line with each other. He's going to pull that tight, and he's going to start a roll. He's just going to roll it tight. Now, what you're going to notice is the top layer with the male coupling is going to creep and I'm just going to give a little vibration just like that and pull that tight. Let's have our cameraman come up and we want to show you something about this. What you notice is this offset that I have. My male coupling has been protected by the uh, female length of hose. Relatively protected. This is fine to go in a compartment in a rig ready to deploy. Some departments use rose hole, uh, rolled hose in this method. And then they wrap it with a sling and they use it as, uh, as hose bundles for stand pipes or extending lines. And what they choose to do is go ahead and make this connection like so and then sling it. The sling allows them to carry one or two or more bundles of hose configured in this way with them. Okay. Right. Now we're going to show you the difference in the deployment method between these two hoses, uh, between the straight roll and the donut. I'll have my camera ever back to his uh, filming position.
Letcher's going to hold, get a hold of both pieces of hose right below the coupling, couplings, and now he's going to throw that roll. It goes a lot easier. Now I'm going to go ahead and add this. In a lot of situations, you don't even have to throw the hose roll. Let me show you. A great example of deploying this uh, hose in this method is I got a FDC connection, or a fire department connection right here for a sprinkler system. And I've got my discharge on this side. I can grab this out of the compartment, drop it on the ground. I just grab this female, hook it up to my discharge. I keep the male in my hand. Make my connection to the FDC. And as I walk back to pull my discharge, I remove my kinks. All right, I hope we've given you some food for thought. I'm a big hands-on guy. So what I challenge you guys to do is to grab some spare hose back at your fire station, mess around, get hands-on with these different methods, try practice deployments, see if it's the right fit for you. Thanks for watching and don't forget comments below.